Well, howdy do. We are back. Once more. I keep saying we are back. Um, but, yes, we are... We're continuing our adventure. We have to report back to Painted, painted Mesa. Um, and instead of teleporting back, I'm just gonna walk. Because, you know what? Walking is good for the soul. In more ways than one, actually, I just realized. You know, like, cause... Whoop. Cause soul, you know, the souls are your feet. And stuff. Anyways. We're gonna make our way back. Oh, not through that direction, though. We are going to make the long way around. Um... Yeah. We're actually two levels away. From, uh... Is somebody fighting the fate right now? Or is this just... No, it's fine. I don't need to be a part of this. I don't have to get myself involved with drama. Remember, children, you don't have to get involved with anything that you don't want to. No matter what anyone says. Go. Look at that cat go. You can't see it. Ah, look at it go. Look at it go. Um. Whoa, I took a huge detour. Whoops. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, hold on. Let us check the hunting log for a second. Um. These are all in central Thanaland. We are in western Thanaland. Cactor things are honestly really funny to me. It's only been like less than a month of me getting this game and honestly I'm already like really emotion emotionally invested. Hey, it's this guy! We saw him back at um... Whatchamacallit? Back at uh, the Copper Bell, Copper Bell Mine. My brain is absolute garbo because I can remember that. I can remember seeing somebody, you know, like, in the game. And yet, I can't remember anything I learned, like, yesterday night or something. It's like, okay, cool. I see so many people with the FC small, and I, I'm just like, huh. Oh. Wait, what? Interesting. Ah, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume and Olda will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good tidings with Papashan the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Mamodi. It will do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Whoa. Uh, no! Uh... Shut your mouth, you th uh, thieving little swine! You stole from me! Don't even think to deny it! But please, sir, I didn't steal nothing! 
I I bought this, paid it for uh paid for it with my own coin. What rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford ma uh, maggoty mole meat, much less uh, a choice cut of dodo. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. What is going on out here? I'm gonna say it one more time. Give back what you stole, or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades. You know, help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities need hear of your crime. Oh my god. If my character in-game doesn't step in and smack this guy right in the face, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually like scream. Hold on. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh my. Okay, that's it. I'm killing every one of these guys. But, but I ain't done nothing wrong. 12 is my uh, me witness. But please, adventure, help me. I beg of you. Of course. I, I, oh my goodness. I swear on my mom's mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coin I'd save. I only wanted to treat my children to a decent meal. Alright, hold on here, hold on. You don't treat a lady like that. And who the hells are you when you're at home? This dog's master? Hey! hey oh! Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna rip that pompadour looking hair off your head. I've had enough of this mummer's farce. You lot, teach them a lesson. Oh, I'm gonna teach you a lesson, punk. Punk ass. I'm real upsetty, spaghetti. My spaghetti's been upsetty. Yeah. Ooh, the lot of them. Yeah, you guys cheer on your your buddy over here, okay? You, yeah, yeah, you you do that. Yeah, you don't treat a woman like that. You do not. This guy's gonna. Oh. All right, you're next. Ah, who's the better thaumaturge? I wonder. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get out of this town. You make me sick. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Yeah, who's boasting now, huh? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Guess you don't pay them enough. Thank you, kind adventure. Thank you thrice over. Oh no. I'd swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the Calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the Calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their land uh, found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes, and problems like those aren't easily solved. 
Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamities affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in the other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Ulda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't, uh, doesn't foment lawless in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire patrolling the streets for riffraff? It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they were, you may be sure you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. <sighs> what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Uh, dodo tenderloins, get your dodo tenderloins, guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Isn't that the lady? Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Yeah, that's the lady. Looking around, you'd think Golda was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity, and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Er, uh, sir, are you alright? Oh, where am I gonna wake up this time? Huh? Huh? Oh, I, I, I'm okay. I'm not passed out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, w what now? You mean a threat and a defenseless citizen? No, I'm just gonna tell you to kindly, uh, screw off. What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? Th that's absurd. I as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? Is it Pabashan? Oh, okay, it's everyone. Err. I will overlook this, but just this once. Yeah, you better run with your tail between your legs. God's bless the adventure. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about it. Of course, it's it's my duty. Have a safe trip. All's well that ends well. Thancred? Oh, Jesus! Thancred! We meet again. Jesus! You pop out of, like, every- Where? You're stalking me. I don't like that. You're following me around. Actually, I don't know that, but... Pray do not mistake my intent, for it is always honorable. But I have been watching you ever since you departed Ulda. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured. You played the part of Envoy to perfection, confident as a man on a diplomatic mission should be, yet unfailingly courteous to your betters. And when your travels led you into the midst of the danger, you faced it without being uh, as oh my god, you faced it without so much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I confess to being somewhat in awe of you. Ah, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid those in need, even when words were all the rewards you could expect to receive. Such selflessness is a rare thing in this day and age. All of which leads me to, uh, to conclude that you are indeed the one whom I have been looking for. An adventurer possessed of a very rare set of qualities. Um, to be sure, your rescue of that damsel in distress was more of a happy accident. But rescue her, you did, and that is what matters in the end. I feel I should mention at this point that I also harbor a burning interest in in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? How do you know about that? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent and can help you to understand it. She and I belong to the same organization and we should both be delighted beyond wor uh, words if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being part of such a collective. For one, we would be 
glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give me your answer now. Think about it, and if you feel moved to help us, as I pray you shall, speak with Mamodi, the ever-lovely lo and youthful mistress of the quicksand. Alright. See you around, Thancred, I guess. Tell her the scions of the seventh dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. Uh, Alright. Alright. Cool. That was a very interesting um, experience, I guess. Oops. Hmm. Seems like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably be alright. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's giving the same like little lecture oh, to a new adventurer! Oh my god, has it been really that long since we first became an adventurer? Oh my god, it feels like just yesterday. Wow. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing, of a, uh, hearing tell of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. Ah, I tell you, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you, uh, you've you been hard at it with in, uh, giants in the dark. Gates in the dark, yeah. Uh, I never doubted for a moment that you'd succeed, of course, and neither did Papa Sean, which ain't to say he won't be overjoyed. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Oh, oh, it's Etta! Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, th thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. Have you? My name is Etta. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When... I I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avery, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! Sweetie! Oh my god! You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are, you see, an adventurer's adventurer, and swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded, had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But, but, but when I think of the man you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I am inspired, just as Avery once was. So I've decided, uh, I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask you your name. Atelius Alderic. I shan't forget. Thank you, Atelius Alderic. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Alright, goodbye, Edda. Oh. Adventuring can be cruel, uh, a cruel, bleeding business. Time was, I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a, uh, a right pain in the arse looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post. And I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Atelios. Aw, thanks, Mamodi. Eh, what did you say? You want to know about the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Listen, Atelios, the Scions ain't no ordinary folk, and the work they do ain't, lo uh, ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. All right. Um, yeah, we'll take the the rope belt. We're about to get we're about to get ourselves into something that we might not be able to get ourselves out of. 
Um, where is it? There we go. Yep. Alright. Alright. Uh, what can we get from this? Um, yeah, we can get this. So you want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear, if I painted certain death on one door and limitless limitless wealth on another, nine out of ten ventures would go through the first, and the other uh, and the other bloke wouldn't uh, be able to choose on account of being olden. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who've made it their mission to solve some of Eorzea's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individual, individuals like you, Atelios. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to uh, find the silence, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Aorzea's uh, it's something Aorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Thandalin. The place you're looking for is called the Wakened Sands. Give your name to whoever is at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Atelios, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget old, your old friend Mamodi. Drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Alright. Um, can we... No, we are not level 25. We cannot do our Thaumaturge quest. Ah. Yikes. Okay, so we need to go Western Thanalan. Yep. Alright. Sweet. Let us head out there then. Man, the story... Like, I really enjoy the story. 100%. Like, it's very interesting. It's not too much, you know? And, on, and the story has just gotten better and better. Uh, with, with the, uh, as the episodes go on. Alright. Out to Western Thanalan once more. Now you might be wondering why I don't get the chocobos. That's because, hey, uh, I, I do what I want. You know, if I don't want a, uh, if I don't want a chocobo, I don't want a chocobo. Easy as one, two, three, you know? Okay, now where exactly are we headed? Wait. Oh, right here. Wow, it's, wow, all, wait. Haven't we been here? Oh, no, uh, it's, okay, okay, it's to travel there. All right. Um, okay. Gotta make our way all the way over to Waken Sands, all right? How's my armor looking? Any good? Um, it's looking okay. Looking pretty snazzy. Oh, shoot. I took the wrong way. This is why you have a map. This is why you this is why you use the map, not just have it. Doesn't matter if you have a map, it matters if you use it or not. Which I'm, I mean, I'm using, but I'm not 100% using the map. What are those? Sandtoad? Do I need to kill those things? No, I think I need to kill the toxic toads. Oh, 
was another f oh there's a fade over here I'm good with the fades don't need it okay that guy was riding that guy was riding a grizzly bear that was dressed up as like Santa Claus <laughs> that's funny all right all right so we're gonna have to cut through horizon okay And yeah, I realize I could have just teleported to Horizon, but like, at the same time, it's like, I can just walk. It's fine. What in tarnation? What it? That is a mech if I've ever seen one. Okay, that fish is out of land, out of water. I mean, all right, all right. So we're just gonna continue on this path. Do I need to kill anything uh, in here? Oh, it's such a Rudy. All those boys. Yeah, fight. Hmm. Yep, alright. Let's continue on this. Oh, I need to kill thick shells. Thick. Will I just one-shot these things? Nope, I will not. That's fine. How many do I need to kill? Three. Oh, easy. Oh, that didn't hit the other one. I'm sad. Alright. And we're we'll good there. Sky has to say. Oh! You can die. You there, yes, you, the decisive, uh, decisively unfashionable adventurer. Hey, I look okay, alright? Gods be good, never in my life have I. What in. That is a whale. That is a whale, alright. Uh, never in my life have I seen such unapol uh, unapologetic focus on function at extreme cost to form. The mere sight of you. Uh, of you fair makes my eyes bleed. Wow. As a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the realm in that sorry state. I believe your appearance can yet be salvaged. Through the use of color. No, I like my black and white outfit though. Come on, it matches. I will teach you how to go about dyeing your outfit. But first, um, first I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious thirst and I won't be able to talk for any uh, length of time. Be a dear and buy a bo me a bottle of orange juice at the stall by the northern gates, would you? Once I have moistened my throat- I do not like the word moist. Uh, we shall see to the business of remedying your um, appearance. Hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. Oh dear, dear, dear. This will never do. My sense of aesthetics simply won't allow it. How can you go out dressed like that? My dear, if you'd only thought, uh, if you only, uh, oh wow, if only you'd spare a thought, for, uh, thought for style and coordination. I hope your garb holds up during a scuffle, because there's little else going for it. That's it. I've made up my mind. From this day forth, I'll take it upon myself to save you from any more fashion disasters. Let me see. So much that needs to be addressed. Where to even begin? Be a dear, give me a drink. Okay, this is just. This person just wants to drink, like constantly. Um, is there an Aetherite here? Or is there not? There's not. Okay. Uh, let me talk to the chocobo person just to get the, uh, thing out of the way. 
Um, yep, there you go. Cool. Alright. Let's see what this person has to say. Huh. I'm good. That's the ferry ticketer. at the top or inside oh okay hey, I, I. Uh, oh uh, Swargum sent you did she that woman I've never known someone so lazy would it kill her to just come get it herself here you are you shouldn't let her push her around you know uh, push you around you know give her an ilm and she'll take them all unfortunately so all right So, how's that drink coming along? Here you go. Oh, delicious. Nothing better on a hot day. Some say I, I have expensive tastes, but life's too short to settle for second best. Of course, this extends to my choice of wardrobe, too. Wait a second, let me look at your wardrobe. Girl, you call that an outfit? Honey, no. Uh, now that I'm feeling refreshed, shall we get started? Do you know, dear, you'd look a lot less drab if you knew, knew how to apply glamours. What's a glamour, you ask? Well, they use a glamour prism as a catalyst to project the image of one item onto another. It's just an illusion, mine, but very convincing. This means the original object stays essentially the same. It just takes on a new appearance, that's all. Remember, if you fancy a change, you don't have to stick with the same glamour. Just apply another one on top or use a glamour dispeller to return the object to normal. Why sacrifice style for such humdrum trifles as durability or protection from bodily harm? <laughs> Limitless possibilities for self-expression are just a couple of glamours away. Go ahead, give it a try, and do make it quick, dear, for my sake. I'm finding you, uh, your uninspired outfit attire more and more offensive with each passing moment. Then just don't look at me, then. Um, where do I get the other juice? Wait. get where do I get this wait what wait I am confused on where I get this um, this thing like, I don't think I can talk to her again for orange juice yeah like I don't think we can buy anything no what I'm so confused now like what are the requirements I don't- I don't understand. I truly don't. Alright. Well, we need to talk to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. So, let's talk. Let's talk. 
<laughs> Aww. She's singing. Uh, deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Uh, <laughs> Trollolololololo. Ooh, ah! <clears throat> I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to... Here at behest of Thancred? My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Atelios Alderic. Atelios Alderic. Ah, there you are. Ahem. <clears throat> I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know uh, to expect you. Okay. Cool, cool. Alright. Now we need to... Oh, we need to speak with them. Wow. Okay. Nice place. Wait, where's my kitten? No! Uh, I take it you are Atelios Alderic. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Okay. Uh, we will take... Let's see. We'll take this. So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me. Have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul, a power known as the Echo. The echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, 
The realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Oh wow, that is... that is a shock. <laughs> it's like, you've been gifted the god... a uh, uh, godlike power. Wow. That's a shock. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies. And not a word from me, they will... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, and at a word from me. They will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied to you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Oh, she's so cute. All of those are so cute, honestly, though. Little bobbies. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I've taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do it all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree, and one which serves the, uh, the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is most important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Wow, okay. Nice! Okay, hiring a retainer. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, I think we all know what the choice is. But I'll leave that for the next episode. If you do enjoy, you know, show your support by leaving a like or a comment or, you know, just... Or subscribing even. I only do this like once every like five episodes. So you're not going to hear this every single episode. Uh, anyways, we'll take off with our decision of whether to join or not in the next episode. Take care. Be safe.